Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today I have a nice little vintage and antique haul to share with you. There is a quilt shop that my mother-in-law has been talking about for years, and they've got some little knickknacks you can buy, and then they've got uh, quilting items. So we took a trip up with the family yesterday, and I'm gonna share what I got. But first, a few little clips from the store. So we're at this quilt shop that my mother-in-law always comes to, and they also have antique and vintage things, and it is amazing and hard to resist. But look, here's the pig with the pipe, and there's another pig piece that I'm um, thinking about St. Patrick's Day. I got these two linen items. This one appears to be, I guess, a handkerchief. It is silk, I think, so actually I don't know if you would have used it as a handkerchief. Maybe just a little scarf. I thought it had a really nice deco feel to it and obviously such a nice material. That was a dollar. It's a nice size. It's at least 12 inches by 12 inches, probably a little bit bigger. So I believe that this is a napkin. Um, it was a dollar as well, and I love my red and white. So that one's a slightly smaller and probably never used. There's no stains, holes, and the fringe is in perfect condition. There were a few uh, vintage sewing notions there. This little pin cushion that's got a velvet top and these little applied flowers on the side of the basket. The bottom has this little cardboard piece little fruit design on it that was $4.50 and then uh, there was a sterling thimble this was $10 but I thought I'd pick it up because um, it was such a nice piece and since it was our first trip out there it's marked on the inside polished actually very nicely this might be my favorite piece, but honestly, I just love it all. Um, it looks like it's a little postcard. I do want to take it out of the frame to check it out. Um, but it's uh, it's in this nice frame that's got a little bit of gold on it. And it looks like it's a silk postcard that says, From Your Loving Husband. Well, my husband was there, and I handed it to him and told him he could buy it for me, and he just handed it back. <laughs> so I said, I'm just going to lie and tell everyone he gave it to me. Look at the price, $1.95. I mean, he could have gotten a deal. Yep. So I'm excited to pull that out, see if anything's on the back of it, and then I'll just put it right back in. But I just think that's so beautiful. This little piece, it's lemons. Um, they're wired. They were 95 cents. Looks like they've got not glitter, but just a little bit of like sparkle to them. And I just love the vintage look. I don't know if I was able to um, capture this on uh, the clips that I took there, but she definitely had a lot of made in Japan ceramic figurines. And this one, um, I can't tell if it in here, if it has opalescence to it. And I'm not sure if it's a mermaid because you can't see the bottom of her, but it's definitely a girl coming out of a shell with long hair. It looks like she's got a bathing suit on. And that is marked in Japan. That was $2.95. And then I did find this piece that is handmade. It does have some opalescence. Um, it was $2.50. There's the back. Looks like a porcelain, feels like a porcelain. And it says KC. And possibly I'll start to combine these to make a little assemblage, or maybe I'll just have her. Um, and then start to put something in this. But for a while, I've been collecting little shell pieces for something. And now I've added to the, the collection. And my son and daughter picked up a bunch of stuff as well. And we picked out a few candles, this lilac blossoms. And um, well, this is what I, I picked out. I'm not sharing what they got. Um, and blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin sounds, smells wonderful. And for the lilac blossoms, what I like to do with these, um, mm, smells so good, is if you have a drawer or even one of a 
like the glass cabinets that I have, I will put one of these in there. And every time you open the cabinet, it's got this beautiful light scent in there. And I've done that with some, I believe it's Crabtree and Evelyn candles that I picked up at Brummage Sales because they're discontinued. That's the only place that you're going to find them. And uh, I burned a few, but with the last couple, I just saved them and I put them in there and it just smells wonderful every time I open that cabinet. Well, I will share this about my son. So he picked up like six rolls of thread and he handed them to me and he said, oh, when we get home, you can make me something with this. And then he decided, this is the cutest thing ever, that he was going to get some fabric and he wants to have a doormat outside of his bedroom. <laughs> and he picked a fabric and then he asked the lady who owned the store if he could tell her, um, if she could tell him what a quarter yard was. And so then he walked up to me and kind of tried to show me with his hands and said he needed more. So he got half a yard. So he picked out the fabric and I'm in the other room and he goes up to her, asks for a half a yard. She cuts it for him. It was adorable. I decided that I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law and I thought I would share her cabinet. This is the dome and a lot of the thimbles that we picked up at the hospital sale. I think these were her mother's. Since we were at the quilt shop and buying sewing notions, I thought I'd share my mother-in-law's quilt collection. I'm pretty sure all of these are made by her family. She might have one in there that she purchased elsewhere, but I think she's put these on display specifically because her family has made them. And they look so beautiful in this cabinet. And then up top, she's framed some pictures of her family and friends making the quilts. So this might be uh, the contender for my favorite as well, is four little butter pats. They are flow blue with a little bit of gold on them. And they were a dollar uh, 25 each, so $5 for the set. And these are just the best little trinket dishes or if you've got um, like a face oil to put this under the face oil so then if it drips it just drips into something that is ceramic and easily washed instead of fabric or wood um, you could put a little candle on there jewelry dish so that was a nice little unexpected haul from the quilt shop so thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you in another video bye